Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm not doing an exciting look at all, but I'm doing the Instagram baddie makeup tutorial for you guys. It's super simple, nothing that I've not done before, but I want to share with you guys because the face products are more interesting than the eye. So I'm just going to whiz you guys through the eye look. It's so simple. I'm just starting off with carving out my eyebrows and just setting the lid and then going in with really really simple shadows that I've used before I've done this eye look before but it's the face that is most important because it's Instagram makeup it's full on so I'm using the Morphe 350 palette and I'm taking that shade just to put down before I start transitioning into more warmer browns and adding depth to the look I've done this eye look before. I know, guys, don't shoot me, but it's Instagram makeup. This is what people wear. It's really simple, warm eye with a wing, but it's the face products that are interesting, okay? So just bear with me, guys. Um, I'm taking that other brown shade that was uh, one over, and then I'm going in with a warmer shade now. So if you own this palette, you know it's bomb. I love it. I actually recently got it because I wasn't able to get my hands on it, but Beauty Bay had it. So keep an eye out for that if you live in the UK and you can't get it on Morphe website and it takes ages to ship anyway. So I'm just putting down that brown and blending it through and of course just going back and forth. It's such an easy eye look. Um, I literally put down the product and then blend the edges away. So this is the darkest brown I'm going to be using and this is just going to go everywhere we already placed color and then some. So it's going to cover most of our lid. I pretty much, you can cover your entire lid with it as well as the crease of course, but I tend to leave just a little bit on the front a little bare so the eye look is normally quite matte in my opinion I, I mean there's many makeup looks out there uh, for Instagram but I tend to see a really matte eye look with a wing liner so I'm taking a little bit of that orange as you can see and just putting it on the edges I think it just gives a little more it just makes it look a little more interesting so I'm taking that white matte shade you guys know I don't really use matte shades for the brow bone but I'm really into it so I'm using that for this look because it's supposed to be super matte I'm going in with wing liner I suck at wing liner which is why I always always use the tape so I tend to keep the tape on it gives me a sharp line as you can see and it's good it's good stuff so this is the Inglot liner I really love you should try it out Onto the brows, so this is the Anastasia Brow Pomade, and we need really sharp brows, okay? We need super, super sharp brows for this look. It needs to be full on, so I'm going full on with my brows. I love this pomade. I use the shade Ebony. I'm going to be leaving down in the description box, as per usual, all the products that I'm using and the shades and links for you guys. I tend to leave both... US and UK links to help you all out. Okay, so I'm just using this with an Anastasia angled brush. I really love this brush for brows. It's a really good, really good brush. Okay, so Farah um, lashes from Huda Beauty. And then onto priming. So I'm using this Too Faced Hangover Primer. And then I'm going to also use the Professional to fill in the pores on the center of the face. We need to have a super matte full coverage face. I'm excited. So Too Faced foundation, I love this foundation so so much. It's full coverage but it looks really flawless on the skin. I use the shade Sand. If you haven't tried it, definitely definitely do. I use it with my beauty blender, patting that in um, and just making my base as flawless as possible. Um, I only use one full pump and it does a good job on covering everything. So I'm going in with the Becca Under Eye Brightener. And this is a pink Under Eye Brightener. I put this down with um, a brush and then I blend it out with a beauty blender. And then concealer will go on top. So again, because this is a full coverage look, we want to have really bright um, under eyes. And we don't want to see any bags. You want super flawless flawless skin. So and then I'm going with the Too Faced um, 
Bonus Weight Concealer. I also love this product so, so much. I use the shade Light Medium. It's super yellow and does a great job on brightening the places that I place it on. So I go on the T-zone and under the eyes as well. So I'm putting that um, down and then blending it with the Beauty Blender as per usual giving us a really, really flawless base. We're gonna go full on with this face. Um, I do this often when I'm going out or I'm going to events or I'm taking pictures. Um, so Laura Mercier powder, translucent powder, I'm taking with my beauty blender and we're gonna bake. Bake the face so it's cakey. Not really. <laughs> so I'm putting that on the under eye, but as you can see, I take that and I pinch my nose. So. I'm taking that on the sides of my nose so we can narrow down, down our nose as much as possible. So I'm putting that all under the eyes, on the chin, and then I'm taking the powder on its own and I'm putting it all over the face where we didn't bake. This is going to give us a good base to put powder on. It's going to blend really, really seamlessly. Okay, so MAC Give Me Sun is my favorite bronzer and I am just bronzing up my cheeks as much as possible we want a warm sculpted face and bronzer does the job so I'm putting that all over my cheeks I'm using my MAC 135 brush I believe it is um, and I'm putting that all over the cheeks and I'm also using my Eda brush and I'm going on the forehead just to unify the entire face bring it all together warm it up and then I'm going to be moving on to some blush. So I'm using this blush, the split pan um, from Becca. And the blush is Flower Child. It's a beautiful pink blush. It's super pigmented. So I use a little bit of it just to um, bring the face to life. And as you can see, taking the bake away, wiping it away. And my face is super matte super flawless I absolutely love it okay so I'm going to um, contour my nose with the same bronzer I use the bronzer um, that I use on my cheeks I always use the same bronzer on my nose whatever I'm using that day I will do the same for my nose so I'm using my NARS Eda brush and this technique may not work for you it works for my nose shape um, super simple two stripes down easy peasy and under the lips to make our lips look Fuller. Okay, so I'm baking underneath the contour. This is going to give us a super sharp line. We need that Instagram sharp contour, guys. Okay, so we're going to set our brows. This is the L'Oreal um, Brow Gel. And I'm just setting my brows and then wiping my bake away. I left it on for a couple minutes. As you can see, the line is super sharp. We have a good base. It's really great. <laughs> So I'm using um, any brown from that 350 palette and I'm putting that underneath my eyes but I'm not going to use mascara underneath my eyes guys. I was just not feeling it. Um, I prefer it without. It lifts my face more if I don't use mascara. Okay, so for lips, so I'm using three lip products today, all ColourPop. Um, the first one is this lip liner. It's Chi Lip Liner. It's from the Karuchi um, line. And it's super, super creamy. It's a good mid-tone brown. You guys know me and mid-tone browns. I think mid-tone browns, um, if you can find a mid-tone brown for your um, skin color, it's going to benefit you because it makes your lips look huge. As you can see, my lips are ginormous. So two lip products. So the first one I'm going to be using is the Ultra Satin Lip from, of course, Colourpop, as I mentioned, in 0. 0.0. It's a beautiful, beautiful um, brown, but it's a deeper, deeper warm brown. And then in the center of the lips, I'm going to be using Chi um, Matte Lip, again, from the Karuchi range. So I'm just making the outsides um, darker is going to make our lips look fuller and the light color in the middle highlighting time first time using this palette the glow kit from Anastasia so I'm placing down some MAC fix plus so our highlight is popping 
I love the formula of Anastasia products, so this was a good buy. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Again, the eye look is not exciting at all. It's super simple, but I had to do it because of the base. I really want to show you guys um, some good base products. Let me put my hat on, show you my Instagram baddie poses. Um, check out the description box below for everything you need to know as well as my social media. I love you guys and I hope you really enjoyed this video even though it was super simple. Alright guys, bye!